I'll tell you some stories. So my name is Brandon Wright, and I'm a former Jeeper. I currently work in the Central Valley of California with the Center for Multicultural Cooperation. Well, it was in 1998, and I was a freshman, first quarter ever. I was in Sociology 15 with uh, Paul Lubeck, and uh, he completely blew my mind and told us all about all how horrible the world is and how unjust and, and different things like that. And, uh, and then they created a section for people who are interested in doing something like Jeep. I wanted to join the Fu Manchu uh, clog-wearing mafia, so I became a part of that. These were people who really um, had a commitment to using technology locally and especially internationally, but there wasn't really a framework within uh, kind of within which to do that. So we started to do some internships, we started to do some local um, internships as well, but it wasn't really until the summer of 1999 when we held our first Society and Technology Summer Institute. And we brought about 50 students up from Long Beach and East LA to the university campus. We were able to do some fundraising through that and have a budget to start to do the, the Jeep program. And then it kind of developed from a club to a class to something that has fellows and a kind of a real leadership structure. The entire leadership of Jeep has always really had a commitment to that, to this being um, driven by the students. And uh, I think now as it develops into whatever um, form it takes in the future, whether it's a minor, major, or so on, uh, there's still that commitment to kind of that undergraduate fellows leadership, which I think is really unique. What was really nice about Jeep is it gave me a chance to cut my teeth on doing some community organizing, working with nonprofits, uh, doing some fundraising, and so I was able to take that into the nonprofit world after I graduated from UCSC, and I didn't come in fresh, I was able to come in a good idea of, of how things work and a good way to be effective using some of these tools learned through Jeep. So uh, we started. I started with CMC in 2003 and I'm currently the deputy director and we're working with hundreds of youth around the San Joaquin Valley and starting to work with other youth in other parts of the state also. And then when I talked to Brandon and told him that I was going to be moving down to Fresno, he was like, hey, that's fantastic if you're ever interested in working for a little nonprofit. Uh, called the Center for Multicultural Cooperation. We do uh, a number of projects like Stories of Service and we've also you know, evolved into the Hmong Voices and the Latino Legacy projects as well. I think that what happens through Jeep is and through the Jeep Fellows is you build this trust and uh, you build this leadership team and then I think that uh, especially in Mary Jane in my case because that level of trust was built that was someone that I wanted to hire on with our nonprofit. I think that CMC in a lot of ways is doing the same type of thing that Jeep is doing except instead of with undergraduates we're doing it with um, high school and middle school students. We're just trying to get kids to kind of reevaluate how they can use technology and what their place is in this world and how they can kind of um, use that technology to do something very positive with their own lives and with the communities that they live in. I fell in love with it right away. It was an opportunity for me to work with young students, high school students. It was also an opportunity for me to work with sort of older people in the community, you know, our World War II veterans, and uh, a chance to actually use my video skills that I had, uh, you know, learned in Jeep. One of our big programs, youth leadership programs right now in the Central Valley is the Digitally Able Producer Project. And it's very much modeled after Jeep and the Jeep Fellows. You know, we have these, work with hundreds of kids, but we have a dozen kids or so who just won't get out of the office. They're in there every chance that they get, and they're real reminiscent of myself and Mary Jane and some of the other Jeep fellows. And so we set up the DAP program where these are kids who dedicate um, 250 hours a year of service to community using technology, and they lead the other students who are involved in all of our digital storytelling projects. And they also have a big say in kind of what direction the different programs take. So I think the exciting thing about Jeep and DAP is that with each program, you're not just training a young person how to do something positive, you're training them how to train others to go about using technology in a positive way. 
You know, Fresno really gets a bad rap. A lot of people think that it's sort of a bass backwards uh, little place in the middle of California that sort of doesn't have a lot of culture, doesn't have anything interesting, just a bunch of strip malls and, uh, you know, track homes. And, uh, you know, I used to think the same thing, too, before I went away to college. But, you know, you, you realize sort of, you know, the different things that, that each community has that's a value. And one thing that Fresno has is just a tremendous diversity. In my high school, over 100 different languages were spoken in homes of, my student, of students, and that's uh, pretty remarkable. I just, I don't know, I can't say it enough about Jeep. I'm trying to find the right words to say this, but I guess more than any job that I had in college, more than either of the degrees that I got in college, more than any of the other friendships or networks that I had, Jeep made me employable. And it made me be able to find a meaningful job that paid the bills and um, you know, allows me to raise my, my son and provide for my family while doing something that I really enjoy. And it's because of the experiences in Jeep. It's because of the internship because of the leadership that we had to do, it's because of the, the fundraising that we did, and you're going to get as much out of Jeep as you put into it. If you throw yourself into it, you'll get a great experience um, where you really kind of learn the ins and outs of a nonprofit. To come back to, to Fresno and work with him together on CMC, you know, really is this vision that, you know, we had with Jeep sort of when it was first starting, when it was kind of incubating at the time, was really about sort of creating this, you know, generation of leaders that I mentioned before. And it's great because, you know, we're actually, we're living the dream. You know, we're, we're just a couple of crazy kids just trying to, you know, make a difference. And uh, everything that we learn from Jeep and learn from one another, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just been a crazy wild ride and uh, I think it's just going to get even more exciting and, and, and uh, I'm really glad to uh, be working with Brandon and have him you know, be my partner on this uh, crazy journey. So. I would say to the Jeepers that there have been a lot of people, dozens of people, dozens of fellows and Jeepers who have really put a lot into this project and it's only going to be as good as its last internship, it's only going to be as good as its last training. So um, put everything that you can into it so you can pass that on to the next generation of Jeepers so that you can really give to the program as much as you're going to get out of it.